The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, welcome to the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Boys and girls, I wanted to thank the few of you that remembered that uh, the old folks there at the Gospel Mission there in Tucson always have a little Christmas rush, and they were kind enough to send me a few shekels. And we were able to buy several dozen pairs of, um, quite a few dozens of uh, socks and also some uh, underwear. Believe it or not, folks, underwear is not donated, if you can hardly find that hard to believe. I have an interesting story to tell you about this uh, uh, gospel mission that we have here in Tucson. We have a, a gentleman who lives part of the time in the U.S. and part of the time in Mexico. He's a Mexican heritage. And uh, he's in his 90s now, and what he did was uh, our Holiday Inn on the south side of town, because the jewelry show had been changed, uh, decided to close down. They tried to put it into a nursing home, but that fell through, and so he bought this Holiday Inn uh, for a very good price, and he turned it into the uh, Gospel Mission Inn. And he uh, brings in, it doesn't make any difference whether you're uh, from any country or not. As long as you're homeless, this is what they use. It's 200 and some rooms. And he, not only that, he donated the building, but he also supports it. He gives them, he gives them money every month in order to keep it running. And uh, it, it really, it probably has 500 people in it. Uh, and it, there's a waiting line to get in it, of course. But uh, you talk about a fellow that's uh, giving back. I think that's something that is uh, really good. His mother told him that he can't take it with him. So by golly, he's going to spend it while he's here. All right, let's take a look at the German DAX. You can see here we had a nice run up, still going up with the rest of the markets. Very positive bias here during the uh, holiday season, uh, December, January, of course. And we have the January effect that comes in where the small cap stocks are usually growing on the large cap stocks. We'll be watching that one uh, very closely. I had a very interesting email over the weekend here from a gentleman, and uh, he mentioned, he said, you know, he said a few months back, you said if the S&P ever got to this price, you would retire. And he asked me, did we reach that price? <laughs> My answer, I laughed. It caught me so much by surprise. I said, well, I know for one thing, it's went way above that price. The answer was, uh, you know, about the retiring part. Frankly, folks, I, if I retired, I, I would probably go wacko. I mean, I mean, it takes me a while to do the show and stuff, which I like to do because I have so many friends. And I guess, you know, a little bit of good feedback, some bad feedback. But, you know, it's still fun to be on. And I get the, the opportunity to come into the Tiger's Den and see what's going on and share some ideas. And they give me more ideas than I give them. And, and so it uh, it's one or the other. So that's the real reason. I have never had uh, uh, any idea of retiring. I could have retired, I think, uh, you know, a long time ago if I wanted to. But I wouldn't know what to do. I don't like golf, even though I'm a two handicapper. I'm My only two, my only handicap is driving and putting. Even when I do the, uh, you know, the miniature golf, the only, the only hole I have uh, trouble with is the one with the windmill. Otherwise, I shoot about 140 on those nine little holes. Anyway, let's get back to the markets here. But uh, we'll see here when we move on to the next one here. A couple of I'll answer some of these questions. The other question that was posed is why do I uh, keep diddling around in astrology even though I say I've not found the, the Holy Grail? Uh, and the answer to that is uh, I don't know if there is a Holy Grail out there. If it is, it is probably astrological, but I don't know if we'll ever find it. You don't need to have the Holy Grail in order to make a living in these markets, folks. You just need a very small edge. That's really all you need. And once you have that edge, you know, you've got something that is, uh, you know, really, uh, really worthwhile. And that's all we're doing with patterns. 
whether they're ABCDs, the butterflies, the Gartleys, the uh, the three drive to a top, three dive to a bottom, the one three five patterns, all those are are mathematical edges. That's all they are, nothing more. They're uh, they have some predictive value, but it is short term. It is a co Marshall's posting in their geometry. It is a combination of geometry and the numbers of sacred geometry, which are the Fibonacci summation sequences, and the numbers one, two, three, four, and five and the square roots and reciprocals of those numbers. So you've got, you know, you've got a whole bunch of numbers. You've got about 36 numbers in there that you've got to try to find out which one is going to work. And that's what you're doing with the patterns is to match the ratios with the patterns. Remember that Einstein said before God was numbers and mathematics comes before geometry. But remember, uh, he was a very smart man, but he's probably had a lot of people that disagreed with him on that. But, you know, that's the, everybody disagrees with something. That's for sure. I wanted to share... Uh, I've got a couple more questions, but I wanted to share a really interesting chart that uh, David White uh, sent to me this morning, and uh, I, I think it, I think you'll have a really. And there's one other one here that I want to show you too. You'll see here. Get this up here so we can see it. Re hope it's going to be clear enough. This is the put call ratio for the S and P 500s that are out of the money. We'll get this up here and take a look at it. And you can see that we are definitely rising up in this area. We haven't reached, you know, massive levels yet, but we're getting very, very close. David would keep us informed on here if we get it. Now, folks, I, I was bearish. The S&P the last time was at 31.55. And from that level, we went down to 30.70, dropped about 75 handles. And then we went up and made a new high. Once once we made that new high above 31.55, you know, there was no way that uh, I could possibly uh, be, be bearish. And the reason why was, I mean, it exceeded every single number that we had. 31.55 was the last one that was there. So there's nothing else I can do. Now I'm watching short-term patterns to see if I can find something on a shorter-term pattern. I'll certainly do that one, but on a larger-term pattern, you know, I can't really do that. But that's it. The British pound, that was totally different. It went right up to that number we were looking at, and it's dropped 300 pips. And, uh, you know, it's still it's still moving down, you know, rather, rather nicely. Let's just get up here and take a quick look at it here. Here we're starting to follow it down now. In the British pound, let's get this up and we'll be able to take a quick gander at it. Uh oh, that didn't work well. Hold on a second here. You'll see here that uh, the last rallies we had, we had a 50% rally back on December the 16th. We had a 382 rally last night, and that tells us we're almost there, as a matter of fact, down to that 3110. And if we break that, then we're going to break 3035 and we'll see uh, what's happening. But we're hanging in there to see if we're going to get a larger move than we've already had, which so far it's pretty good, but that's neither here nor there. Do one thing at a time. But those are the ones that we're watching. Now, if you have any questions today, it's 877-927-6648. On Thursday, uh, we are going to have uh, Tim Bost as our guest. On Friday, I'm hoping to have Tom Hugard. He's still on holiday, but I chatted with him over the weekend. He's going to try to be in here on Friday, and if we have any luck at all, we're going to try to get uh, Mr. Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter to come on because he's been extremely bullish and the market keeps going in his favor, and we should look at the materials that he's looking at if we can get Stan on the line. So it's 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we got a question here from David White, uh, Mr. Google himself, our walking encyclopedia here at uh, TFNN, and he asks, uh, are we talking about any euphoric markets and the apocalyptic stories of Joe Kennedy shoeshine guy giving him stock tips in August of 1929, so he sold everything. Listen, uh, folks, uh, uh, Mr. Joe Kennedy was certainly tied to the Federal Reserve with both with both hands, so he knew what was going on there. So he sold everything. And uh, is there anything like that euphoria? Uh, you know, I don't know about that. I, I really don't. I'm just looking at price action. Remember now, you know, our stock volume is down way a lot. But remember, a lot of this stuff is ETF related. And, you know, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Warren Buffett said that the ETFs were weapons of mass destruction. I, he might be proved true in the future. All I'm doing is is looking at the patterns, uh, uh, David, because I really I don't understand it. I watched uh, I love to watch Basil Chapman because he follows the stuff and he watches the skyscraper index and all the other things. We are seeing certain signs of slowdown downs that is not being seen in the stock market. And that, that same thing happened in 1929. Folks, in 1929, stop and think of it. We, we topped in the stock market of 383 in the Dow Jones on September the 3rd, 1929. We were entering an era, era not, nothing like we've ever seen before. You know, the inventions we were talking about were the telephone, the radio, 
the the electricity, people having electricity in their homes for for washers and dryers and refrigerators and stuff like that, and and we had two thousand, believe it or not, folks, two thousand auto companies across the country. So you know, and then you know the the market went down from three eighty three all the way down to thirty two in July of nineteen thirty two, and for the next uh, I think it was twenty seven years uh, it was up in. Yeah, it was 27 years before we took out that high of, uh, you know, 1929. And, of course, it never looked back. We went from 32 to 28,000. So if you look at that, I mean, I, I you know, I don't know. All I, I, I will tell you, listen, I'm going to give you my two cents worth here. This is, from an, this is from an old cowboy out in Tucson, Arizona, that's done a lot, seen a lot, been there, done that. And all I can tell you here. Uh, I don't follow any sentiment indicators that have made any sense to me. You know, I look at the different ones. I'm a bar chart guy, David. I look, I look at the charts. It tells me whether they're buying or selling, how much I have to risk at that point. I'm wrong a lot, right a lot. You know, all I try to do is to, you know, risk when I do get in. I don't risk very much. But I, I do bliss very sincerely, folks, whenever this top is in. Whenever it comes, and I'm not sure when it's going to come, but when when it does come, this is going to be the one that take the millennials that are raising hell and complaining about everything. You know, they go in and uh, I'm not going to get into that, but, you know, th these are the folks that are going to have to to decide what's going to happen to our economy later on down the road because we're going to be looking at something a heck of a lot worse than a recession. That's the way I look at it. I, You know, we haven't had one of the big Ds in 70, what, 80, in 80 some years. But that's it. So stay long and stay long until it's over. That's basically uh, that's it. And these entitlements, you know, I'm, you know, <laughs> we'll see what's going to happen with it. And, and, and when you see what's going on political, where the Republican Party is fighting, fighting against the Democratic Party and the Democrats want to give everything away and, and take everything from the rich or not everything, but take most of the rich and and, and let them decide who's going to use it. Well, we, we already know how that works. How well have they done with the uh, post office? Hmm, not too good. How how well have they done with Social Security? Hmm, not too good. You can go down the line. But uh, anyway, that's neither here. Well, okay, wait a minute. Larry's getting off his soapbox and uh, move on uh, to the next one. I wanted to share a couple of charts that some of our friends uh, sent to us. Here's one that we're looking at that we've been quite, quite constructive on and has had a nice move. I just want to show you today because here's there's our natural gas as of yesterday. And those of you that follow uh, natural gas, you would be looking for an equal move down. Between December 12th and 13th, they had a one-day drop. We went from 235 down to 255. That's 20 handles, $2,000. And oh, excuse me, that's $1,000. Yeah, 235 to 225. And if you look at the top here, we had a top. You see the beautiful ABCD pattern: three drive to a top pattern, one point. Uh, well, roughly almost exactly 1.27 ABCD. And so you would expect the same move down between December 12th as you did December 13th. That would put your low end at 228.50. The low today in the natural gas thus far is 228.20, and it's already rallied $500 from that point. So that's what you're trying to do when you're looking at patterns is to predict what happened in the past and move it out into the future because nothing, there's nothing new under the sun in these markets, folks. They repeat over and over again, and that's uh, the main thing of what we're watching. Now, there's been some talk about the copper. Um, I posted in the newsletter this week that there was a lot of resistance in the copper at the uh, around the 280, 282 level, I believe. I don't know where copper is trading right now. But uh, it looks like there should be some correction in here uh, in the copper. We're still looking for corrections coming in both the gold and the silver and the platinum. And we'd like to see one more pullback to uh, get long. I think there's a really good probability of gold. If it can hold this last low that we made at 1448, it's got a really good chance. See, look there. Thank you, Marshall, for posting the copper. I mean, here it is, 281. It hasn't even backed off at all. It's still right near the high. So it's still telling you that it might have more to the upside. But there's some strong resistance in the copper at the 280, uh, 281, 282 level. Let's just get in and take a quick look at that so that we're able to uh, so that we're able to see it. Hold on one second here. I got to just takes me a second to get it up here. We will take a look at it. Here we go. Get this up here and you'll be able to see that we still have. 
a possibility here that the copper could go uh, a tad higher all the way up. Uh, that would be a big ABCD up there at that 286 level. So we could easily get to that. So that's that has potential to go a little bit higher. Remember, Dr. Copper used to be trading about four bucks uh, a pound not too long ago. So now it's uh, you know quite a bit lower than that, but it follows the patterns you know really nicely. So that's another one that we that we want to uh, keep a close eye on. Eight eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you have any questions, I wanted to post a couple of charts here from some of our listeners that look really interesting. One of which I I don't follow the Bollinger Bands very much, but one of our uh, listeners here really does and does a super job at it. And he's saying to, uh, you know, keep a close eye on these Bollinger Bands. As you can see, uh, the Dow Jones just, uh, or excuse me, that's the S&P, just went above it here. And uh, once it comes back into it, it would probably be a sale because, you know, it's been hugging that line for quite a bit and the breakout has come. So the key level in the S&P for me, is at 1313, the old magical Tresky decaphobia, 1313, fear of the number 13. That's what's interesting from my perspective of looking at the e mini S&P 500. Those of you that get the uh, newsletter 24-7, I sent out the chart on that and why it was important. So, you know, sort of pay attention to it because, you know, these numbers don't work all the time, but when they do, you know, they work really good. Now, I want to share uh, another chart from uh, one of our guests last week, Bill Chapman from Trend Reaction. But we're going to do that when we come back from the break. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, I think we have Bill Chapman on the line. Bill, are you there? Yes, I am. Good morning, Larry. How are you? Good morning. Listen, I posted the uh, chart that you sent in on the uh, the basically looks like a, a lows in the morning or, a, you know, high volume in the morning and high volume. If you want to discuss what you're looking at there, because we always look at uh, what we call amateur hour here, you know, the first hour, hour and a half uh, in the stock market. Could you explain to the folks what you're looking at here? Sure. What I'm looking at basically is what happened on December 6th, where we have a reverse cup. And normally mm -hmm. in this situation, what I was looking at yesterday was a market that would be trending higher throughout the day. However, we only got as high as the 3202 and not the 3206 that was anticipated. And then mm -hmm. we had an entire day of distribution within the marketplace. So going forward, what I'm expecting, as you know, within a reverse cup, it is uh, indicative of a possible down move in the marketplace. Okay. And okay. back down to a level of support. And there's no, really no better time, because we are in uh, options expiration, than to fill that gap that was opened yesterday over the next couple of days, if at all. But the one thing you really don't want to do is fight the Fed, because mm -hmm. they're, they've promised to insert half a trillion dollars into the market between now and and the end of the year, but mm -hmm. we may get one of these opportunities like they had in the old 7-Up ads, the pause that refreshes. Mm -hmm. So in order to get some okay. balance within the options right now, we may have, in today's action, a little bit of a sell-off. But it's hard to call, okay. especially when you have a Fed that is feeding mm -hmm. uh, an immeasurable amount of liquidity into the marketplace. Okay, that's great. Well, listen, uh, we appreciate you uh, calling in and explaining it to us because, uh, you know, I was looking at the, you know, I always look at the first hour and a half and the last hour is very important and seeing this chart like this, it uh, really depicts it uh, quite easily. But uh, thanks for your input and we're going to yeah. have you back on uh, as a guest. Anytime you feel like you need to call in, you know, call in and we'll be happy to chat with you because uh, uh, you've got some good interest here in your trend reaction uh, service. So uh, tell the folks how they can reach you, Bill, uh, if they if they need to reach you. My website is www.trendreaction.com, and you can mm -hmm. sign up for a five-day free trial. It's a letter I send out every day via PDF, have you print it. You want it in your hand during the trading day as a reference because mm -hmm. it's your roadmap to the market mm -hmm. during the trading day. Well, listen, thanks for calling in, and we want to wish you a very, very happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. And we'll have you on probably before New Year's, but New Year's anyway. Happy holidays to you, my friend. Thank you very much, Larry. Same okay, to you. Thank okay, happy thank trading. you, folks. That, you bet. Bill Chapman of Trend Reaction, and I believe we have another caller. Oh, the, Al's telling me the board is lit up like never before. He said it's almost like Christmas tree lighting at the White House. We have a caller in from Massachusetts, I believe. It's Mark. Mark, are you there? Yeah. How are so you, I'm my long friend? What can I do right for you? you? You want your long silver? I'm long, I'm long silver at $16. And from what prices are you long? What are you have profits in it? Loss? Where do you stand? Yeah, I'm, I'm in at 16, and it's at. Oh wow, well, you're you're in good place. You're in good place. Let's take a quick look here for you. This is the daily chart of silver, uh, and as you can see here, uh, we're we're trading a little above 17 in the silver right now. Uh, I like the long side of silver. 
Uh, Mark, I'm not sure whether it's going to get down to the level that I'd like to buy it at, which is 1613. But if you're long at 16, I think you're I think you're going to be okay there. I like that. I would mention that if it gets above 18, I'd probably buy more. Okay. So would you sell it to half your position so that you're delta neutral? In other words, zero cost. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know that's that's usually a good uh, it, that's usually a good thing to uh, protect yourself, yeah, especially because you've got a pretty good profit in that right now. I would certainly do that and that to protect it because then if it does go down, you'll have more buying power. But the one thing you don't want to do is to add to the losing position. So I would I would suggest putting your stop at break even, and if it gets down to that sixteen thirty nine level, uh, you know you could you know look to to buy it back again. But uh, the only thing that troubles me here, Mark, is the fact that all the factors should be making gold and silver go higher. You know, we got copper moving up, we've got palladium going crazy, we got uh, platinum going up, and yet the gold and silver are lagging. And uh, I hear stories all the time about the, you know, the controlled market by J.P. Morgan. I don't believe any of that stuff. But if it, if we could just get one really good day in gold and silver, we could get gold above fifteen hundred bucks an ounce, and silver above seventeen fifty. I think that market could fly because there's a lot of people like me think it's going to go a lot higher that would uh, help the buying along. So that's my two cents worth. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you for calling in. We appreciate you calling in as a guest and call in any time. And happy holidays to you and your family. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. And uh, happy New Year. And, and if you're Jewish, Shana Tova, which means a happy New Year. Yeah, Hanukkah. <laughs> okay. Yeshua. Yeah, that's for sure. All right. Let's, uh, you know, since we're talking about that, folks, I, I will tell you this. Uh, the holiday season for me is very, very special because because when I worked at Drexel Burnham uh, during from 80 uh, from 76 to 82, it was a, a tremendous time during December. <laughs> we the the business went from about 100 percent down to about 50 percent because uh, the uh, Drexel Burnham people were extremely generous, uh, not just to the employees but to the community as far as uh, supporting charities and things. It was really amazing, and you were you were expected to give a 5% of your uh, salary uh, as a bonus at the end of the year. And, you know, 5% doesn't sound very much until you get to the end of the year. And if you've been making some pretty good money, you know, that was a big figure, but it was a big figure on a, a small figure on a big figure. So it really didn't make very much, but uh, it was really amazing how philanthropic they were. And, and Mike Milken continued that uh, on also, because when he first started with Drexel, I believe he started in 71, and uh, they in, instilled that. You know, Drexel Burnham was basically uh, you know, it's an old uh, Rothschild company, and uh, it was put together through a lot of the employees from Reynolds and Company and Smith Barney, and uh, oh my gosh, I th th uh, the old Merrill Lynch companies. I mean, Payne Weber. I mean, a lot of these brokers, you know, migrated to Drexel because it was a boutique firm there, and you know, I mean that you had really high-level clients, and you could just literally. Uh, you know, do whatever those clients needed to uh, to make them uh, happy and make money. So it was really an incredible time during the season. We had a giant Christmas tree, even though that there were 32 brokers on the ground floor and 28 of those were Jewish. There were three rabbis in the group there that, you know, worked as rabbis part time and they worked at the, um, the, the city jail and uh, they would hire choirs and stuff to go down and sing and, you know, and have Christmas parties for the prisoners. And they would go to the orphanages and stuff. And it was really incredible the amount of uh, philanthropical stuff they did. And uh, that's where my kids got. That's where my, my kids got involved with that stuff when they were little, and uh, they just couldn't believe, you know, how much uh, good, good they did. And that was uh, really a lot of fun to see that. So we'll come back here, and Santa will get the sleigh and his reindeer ready, and we'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. 
The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, we're back and we are uh, taking a look at the little piggies, the little hog market here. As you can see here, we've held that 72 level. We rallied five cents up to 77. Uh, nice rally, finally. Uh, if you're in that trade, I would put your stop back to 72, break even so that you don't have to lose anything. That's the main thing. It's got a nice profit of over $1,500 in it right now, but it's got a chance to go a little bit higher. Another way is to, you know, use a, like a two cent trailing stop every time it moves two cents, you know, raise your stop by a, a point. That way you're going to protect something no matter what. It's always a good idea. So they are moving in the right direction. Finally, we did make that 70. Eight cent level, excuse me, 72 cent level, which was a 78 percent level, tested it twice, and now we're coming off relatively nicely. So that's uh, that's the way you like to see it uh, when it makes that test and and holds. That's very important. Now we've had a, a nice question coming in about the old uh, Japanese yen, U.S. dollar, from our good friend up there in Washington, Marshall and his lovely bride Lynn. We'll get this up here. Happy holidays to you folks. We'll look forward to seeing you in a few months. Really the highlight of April for Sarah and I is when Marshall and Lynn come down to visit us. Here is the uh, Japanese yen. You'll notice, folks, that the first thing that jumps out on, on this dollar yen is if you look at the low down in November and you look at the high up in January and you look at the low down in March, so you've got an A, B, C, and D. Where does it measure to? Bada bing, bada boom, right there at the 1.27 ABCD completion at 96. We drop all the way down to 91. You can see the ABCD pattern right there, and we've gone sideways. Here's an example looking exactly like the hog market. We've come down and we've tested the 91.30 uh, level uh, twice now. We're trading at 91.80. As long as we can stay above 91.30 in that Japanese yen, it looks like we've got a chance uh, for it to, uh, to move higher. Now, the $64 question is uh, whether it's 
going to do that or not? Nobody knows the answer to that. So try to keep in, keep that in mind. That it's only patterns, folks. Uh, there's a question here, uh, the Warner. Oh, uh, someone called in to cost West. Oh, West Texas crude. You betcha. I'll be happy to do that. Thank you, Marshall, for calling in. We were talking about you just the other day, and I want to wish you and Lynn a very merry Christmas and holiday, along with everybody else at TFNN. But we'll be doing that over the next few days here. Let's take a quick look at the uh, West Texas crude because as we speak in West Texas crude, it is dancing to the tune of harmony. Let's get this up here so that we can take a quick look at it because this was one that uh, we were looking at very, very closely up in here today. And we'll right here. Oh, my goodness, look where we are. Let's get this up here so we'll be able to see it for uh, our good friend War uh, up in Warner Robbins, Georgia. You'll notice here, folks, uh, the 78% level, actually, that is that 78% that level is incorrect. It's not 60-30. It's 60 64 is the actual 78% level on that move. I, I mistyped uh, that when I put it in. I, 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 well, it's 60. It's 60.65 60 is the exact number that we're looking at. But at 60.30 is pretty close. But that's what that completes that A B C D double A B C D. And we also, if it gets above much above 61, uh, this thing could, uh, you know, you could see a, a move easily you know, back above 66 or 67. But right now, it's right at the proverbial moment of truth as we uh, set that through. I hope that uh, the gentleman, Will, over in Warner Robins, Georgia, is not using his uh, cell phone while he's in the car because that's very, very dangerous. That's one thing that I could never, I could never do that. But uh, anyway, we'll see. Uh, See what's happened. Anyway, let's move on to a few other things. If you have, that's pretty good. We have some questions coming in. It makes my job a tiny bit easier. All right, I want to cover a couple other ones that look interesting. Um, we did we did cover the silver market. Let's uh, here's one that we've been watching to go lower. This is the Bitcoin, and it certainly does look like it's going to go lower. Uh, remember, folks, we went from just a few pennies all the way up to 19,000. Had a rally back to uh, 14,000 which was almost a perfect 61% uh, retracement. Now we're back almost, well, we are below 7,000 now. It looks like we're heading down to a three-drive pattern somewhere around $5,000. Now, it's not about cryptocurrencies, folks. It's about uh, blockchain technology, and that's what's uh, really going on. Uh, we'll see. What's amazing to me is that my 8-year-old grandson took my phone and actually uh, – wanted to watch something and I thought he wanted to watch it on the phone but he hooked my phone up to the to the big screen TV and it was just amazing there was my telephone acting as a conduit to the to the to the uh, home alone movie and I, I I was I didn't know stuff like that could happen but that's neither here nor there I wanted to show a show a show a cool chart here uh, on the gold market folks it comes from one of our friends across the pond and then I want to show you a little story here. You'll you'll see here. This is the you can see the uh, the 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 real importance of that 1446. Now you see how we're looking at that three drive. Uh, uh, it's that that's a three drive to a top pattern at 1493. All we have to do, folks, is get this above 1493, and we'll be looking at some really strong moves to the downside. Remember that market topped you know way back in September. And uh, here we are now in December, so we've been down, you know, 10 weeks, and that's about all you get if it's is a real, real bull market. And then uh, look, look at to go higher. I, I'm not involved in gold right now. I want to be a buyer right now. I, I favor the short side, but that's what I'd look at. And I want to share a story with you, folks. I got this this morning from someone. Sent it to me. I'm going to let you read it. It, it was a uh, email from uh, one of our folks that went to London. And uh, I'll let you read this up here. And it's to me and Tom Hugard. It says, I fell asleep around 11 p.m. and got up at 3 a.m. to check my trades in the Dow Gold British Pound. I got all of, all of them and made a $250 profit. I made most of the profit in the British Pound. Now, your crude oil chart followed really well. I think gold is bullish and the British Pound may be too. Last Tuesday and Friday, I had 27 trades and only two losses. That's 13 trades in one day. That's a lot. I risked $200 Thursday morning and built this to $2,000 after the close on Friday. I did this in Nadex, which doesn't always have good spreads. 
I want to thank you for a better trading along with Trader Tom. I only trade with a volatility and a, with a tweet and can destroy you in an instant and never trade use. I only follow reports before entering my trade. So I just want to show you that somebody was doing something small. Basically what he was doing, he was pressing the, uh, you know, the, the good trades. And that's what Tom teaches. And it certainly did pretty good. I do not know anything about Nadex. I don't know what you folks do. I know that they, they did something with Nadex here for a while, but I don't know if it's a big market or anything. I know nothing about it, but I know it has tremendous uh, leverage and also tremendous volatility, which uh, works both ways. It's a, uh, it's a knife that's sharpened, uh, sharpened on both sides. Wow. Mine. 50 in the morning time for the last break of the day we'll be back up and review some of these things so we'll be right back after we take this uh, next break but if you have any questions it's 877-927-6648 i think so i hope i hope i get my timing straight here we got any more time left but uh see if there's any other questions that we want to cover well, we got one other thing that we need to cover and that is the gold market we'll get that up while we're watching right now you can see here this is why i'm bullish the gold you'll be able to take a quick look at it I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the uh, British pound. That's what it's been doing. And then I also wanted to follow through with this gold chart that our friend across the pond sent us on a long-term basis. It really uh, shows the importance of this 1500 level. You can see the big ABCD pattern that we have forming here. That 1443 was spot on. That was a 382 going way back. And it was also a nice ABCD. It was also a 78% retracement from uh, the low that we had back in August. So that's why it's important. The only negative part that I see is the fact that after a 382 like this, usually the market explodes to the upside. But this one has gone sideways. That's the only thing that absolutely uh, keeps this from being extremely bullish. But anytime we get above $1,500, that's going to re tell us that all of this time that we've been here between 1443 and where we are today uh, with high, three higher bottoms is nothing more than massive accumulation, and it's going to be heading higher you know, quite a bit. You can see what happened after point A. That's what you really like to see happen after a major point. We didn't get that. It's going south. Sideways. So either the major point hasn't been reached to the downside yet, or, you know, we're going to explode higher above this level. So I'm watching to see this. I watch it constantly. I send out videos every day on it because I, I want to be nearest to the best price I can possibly get. And right now it looks like you know, we're trading around 1481 this morning. So uh, it hasn't really done anything. The key levels for me would be 1495 on the upside. And if we break below that, uh, 1455 um, level, that would tell us that, you know, we're probably going to have another uh, move down to the downside. It's lagging behind silver and gold are lagging behind platinum and palladium and copper, but that's not unusual because these are, each one of them is treated separately. It's a totally different animal, different players, usually in 90% of the time. So those those are the things that we're looking at. So I want to folks to tell you, live every day in an attitude of gratitude. Remember, we're in the holiday season. Get those checks book out, folks. Open the wallets and help the folks that you see on the streets that have no place to sleep at night. And whether they're begging or not, they need something. So help them out. May God bless, folks. See you tomorrow.